Chatting to Montana Turner, who will be looking forward to the four runners on Friday. And first up, Chedevre will step out in race one. Montana, she showed good improvement last time out. Yeah, she did. Um, obviously, she's just been a bit green um, in her first couple of starts, but she is improving with each and every start. And at home, she's also showing a lot of improvement. I think she's going to enjoy being up over the 12. Um, I think she's definitely going to show a much bigger improvement here. But also one of those fillies, she's going to end up being a classic stayer. So once she goes a bit further, she'll do a lot better. This lovely lady joining us in pick is Mad World and she's new to the yard. She'll be starting in the Eastern Cape for the first time on Friday and her most recent form is from the Western Cape. Yeah, she's become a bit of a pet project to me. Uh, she's crept quite deep into my heart. Um, lovely filly, really just aims to please, wants to do her best for you. Um, so I'm starting her from kind of from scratch again. So we're going up the straight over at 12. Her work's been unbelievably well. Um, she did her last bit of pace work up with Angel C and I was very, very impressed with that. Mm. So all things going well, I think she's going to run a very good race first time out. Sounds very optimistic. In race five, we'll see Prince Vihan. Now he ran a great race last time out and he was doing his best work late. Yeah, I was actually very chuffed with the run. Um, normally he likes to be up handy and he wasn't actually, but it was nice to see him running on from that position. Um, we are fitting him with a tongue tie. It has shown an imp huge improvement at home with it. So I definitely think that's going to be the trick. I've always thought that he needed one, but in his previous form, no one's ever put one on. So I thought, oh, well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Tried it at home, worked wonders. So we will be fitting him with that. And I think he's going to run a great, great race. And in race eight, Angel C. Now, her last run, definitely not a yardstick run. She was never in that race, and her prior form shows her capable of so much better. No, you can put a line clean through that run. Um, Tipsy Tina's fractions were just way too quick for her. So it was to quicken off of that pace was just, it wasn't going to work out for her. So I think a thousand on grass is just that touch too sharp for her. I think that um, thousand on poly where they do come back to her around the bend does suit her a lot better. Um, she's back over the 12, likes the 12, um, works been unbelievably well at the moment. So I can put a line to that last start, last start and I would include her in this. Angel C can be competitive in the last of the day.